Welcome to College Station, Texas, and Kyle Field, home of the 12th man and ready to cheer on the Texas A&M Aggies. Today, we have one of those games that test your focus. Top 25 team against an unranked opponent. Can you take care of business? As we'll see a squad from Conference USA, the New Mexico State Aggies, taking on the 24th ranked team in the land, the Texas A&M Aggies. 48 Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Kick it off and we'll be underway. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Aggies offense takes the field to start this game off. And here he comes, the guy who pulls all the strings in this attack. I think what makes him so unique, he has such a good understanding of this offense, always seems to know what the answer is to the test. Always in control. The receivers know they're going to get the football. Everybody believes in this dude. Man, when I can run the football like that on first down and create second and inches and stay way ahead of the sticks and, and be in a position now where I can throw the football or run, I will have a lot of success on the offensive side of the football. And guys, this can be a great time to look for a big play on second and inches. Quick pass on the jet motion. Can't get him to the ground. And he picks up the first down, and he does it. I'm not going to say spin move. That was a beautiful win. It was elegant. It was beautiful. They'll put it in play from the 41 on first down. Hand off from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So first down didn't exactly go according to plan. Let's see what they can dial up on second down. Uh, Reese, I got him right where I want him, okay? I'm going to throw the football. Now I can get back in shotgun. Let's forget the running game stuff. We're going to play a little pitch and catch and see how good that secondary is. Leaves it with the running back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. The big defensive tackles in the middle, they're not always the best pass rushers, but they are strong, and I say country strong. They put their hands on you, you feel it. They lock people out on the line of scrimmage. They create separation. They wrap running backs up, and usually they don't get out of the midst of those big boys. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. They'll run the screen. At the 45 on his way. He gets it to the 31-yard line. A big play for this offense. And the offensive line and the quarterback has to do their job on screens. They got to sell. Pass down the field. Pass down the field. Offensive line releases. Quarterback now snaps his eyes to the running back. The running back does the rest with the big boys out in front creating a pass. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. He's got it. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. A big gain there as they did a tremendous job working the middle of the field. Yeah, and if you're going to complete that throw, Reese, quarterbacks have got to play with anticipation. You've got to get it out of your hands early and give your receiver an opportunity before the defense gets to the ball. Scanning the field, it's Wegman. Gets rid of it. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And they score first. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game, get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. 
They put together an 81-yard drive, and they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. So the New Mexico State Aggies offense will take the field for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, then they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football game. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. Quarterback on the keeper. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. I hate being that guy to say, just take a dive, don't take a hit. The play is going absolutely nowhere. You might think about it. First, do no harm, right? And you've already been harmed, so just don't make it worse. Don't take those big shots unless you know it's for an important situation. Go line, third down, touchdown. Now they'll run the draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. New Mexico State will be forced to punt. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. Looking for a productive play on first down. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. You know, I think a big part of this isn't necessarily scoring a touchdown on that play, but you're just trying to get your offensive line in the rhythm of the game. Let those big fellas get lathered up. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Looking to throw. It's Wegman. Fires to the tight end. Makes the catch, and he's brought down. We well, hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing there. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. The Aggies send out the punt team to kick it away. And the returner will be brought down. The Aggies offense will have another go at it. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here, Paul. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. So he gets stuffed on first down, and now you have the offensive coordinator thinking a little bit. Yeah, we're probably going to have to throw it now in this second play. But what are we going to see defensively? Now that they know we're throwing, might they blitz us? Do I have to leave more guys in to block? There's a real cat and mouse game going on right now between these two coaching staffs. He'll keep it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, they were trying to set up the option, but the quarterback had no chance. Did you see the defensive tackle penetrate? What a great first step. He shot right through the offensive line and got the TFL. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Back to throw. It's Hogan. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. Well, that time on third and long, they just took what the defense gave him. Nothing down the field. They were hoping maybe he could make somebody miss after the catch. Wasn't able to do it, so now it sets up fourth. New Mexico State will be forced to punt. 
This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the move, it's Barber. Really nice job all the way around. Got a few blocks, made a couple of moves, and a good return on that one before he's pushed out of bounds. The give to the back. Ran through the tackle, and he's got room to run. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. And the Aggies want to crank the tempo. Might as well give it to him again. A seven-yard pickup. It'll be second and three. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. On the ground, it's Moss. Not much there on the run. He gets one to the 31. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? Wide receiver now comes in motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Can anyone catch it? The tackle is made, but he's got it first and goal from the six. These touch passes, it's so hard because there's always action off, right? If I think this pass, and I can run it up the gun or I can throw it and they just spread me out and make me defend so many things. And you could tell they got on the edge quickly, got the big first down. The Aggies trying to get a touchdown on first and goal. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. And already it's completely changed the game. Like now it's 11-on-11 11 11 football. The quarterback used to hand it off and stand there and watch the play. Now he's very much involved in the play. He's running the football so much. And even when he's not, he's making somebody go with him and cover him. So the quarterback scrambling, the quarterback running. Um, is and he takes it to the house. Touchdown, Aggie! Up and over Yamo be there into the end zone. And you don't want to leave your feet very often in football, but this is one of those areas where you do. In the end zone, near the goal line, you smell it. A lot of bodies in front of you. Just get up, get over top of them, get that touchdown. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point makes it 14 nothing. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. The New Mexico State offense returns to the field. To say this has been a slow start is a bit of an understatement, and they really need to get it going here, Jesse. That's right. The opponent, they're firing on all cylinders right out of the gate. Offensively for this unit, they've been slow and struggling. They need an explosive play to wake themselves up. Yeah, and it's just the first quarter, so it's not the end of the world. You've seen slow starts, but you've got to continue to pick and pick and pick until you find that play or, or that scheme that you can use against this defense. He'll pull it on the read. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand this. That QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options. And he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that second the ground. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. It'll be a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
think he's just raw plays are a little bit more predictable when it's third and more manageable as opposed to, to third and long. You can tell defense did a great job understanding the situation, rushing the quarterback, but knowing that run could be an option, and they shut it down. New Mexico State will be forced to punt. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. Signals for the fair catch and looks it in at the 40. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. How about the way they attacked the last time they had the ball, mixing run and pass and winding up in the end zone, Jesse? That's why recruiting is so important. They've got weapons at every skill position on the field. Any of these guys is dangerous if they touch the football. Let's see what they do on this drive, David. And so, Palmer, I got to take away something. I can't let them have everything and have success. I got to be aggressive against the run or play for the pass. I can't give them everything. Got it in the middle, it's Thomas. He's brought down quickly, minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. It's early in the game, and as offenses try to get their rhythm, these easy completions are very important because that's what helps you get your feet underneath you as an offense and as a unit. And hopefully, as this game goes on, they'll be able to rev up and get more aggressive taking shots. To throw, it's Wegman. They're working that left side. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. All right, nice job by the QB. It's third down. It's a money down. I'm looking to throw the ball down the field. What, what, what? What's open? My running back. Find him. Hit him. Let him do the rest. Good job. The offense set for a first down play. Leaves it with the back. They make the stop, and that's how the first quarter will end. Texas A&M has the lead at the end of the quarter. Really strong performance so far to be able to build a lead here in the first period as we look at the stats. Now the challenge here, they've taken a punch, but they can't let it get out of hand as we start the second. Right back to the well. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous. And the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The play action fake. Got it in the middle. It's Miller. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. The modest gain on the completion really shows why you want to run the zone, make them execute, and rally to the ball. 100%. Zone eyes on the quarterback. I see him throw the football, break on it, go make tackles, live to fight another down. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. And he'll envision the ball flight as he lines it up from the right hash and 38 yards out. It's good! And that lead rolls even bigger. Pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. And he hauls it in, and everybody's on the edge of their seats. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Aggies offense will have another go at it. Trailing now by 17, David, this is an opportunity that they need to answer. 
And down by 17, it's not panic mode yet. Like, I know we just gave up some points and our defense hasn't played great. I think this offense can still be who they are and stay consistent. No doubt, lots of football to go, but you do get the feeling this is the time of game where, you know, it could get bad. If you don't score and all of a sudden they get the ball back, they take it down the field and put some points up, this thing might be over. So absolutely, this quarterback, he wants to drive this offense down the field and at least put something on he locked up and held on to bring him down. And just a great job by the defense being stout. All right, that's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's one-on-one. Stop the run first. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. From the gun, they'll try the middle. They stop him cold, maybe gets a yard to the 34. They're strong and they're strong. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance when you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad. You tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Unloads it left. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe. And how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. And I love the awareness by the wide receiver on that play because I'm not sure that route was supposed to be that deep. You got to wonder if the receiver decided maybe to adjust the route a little bit to make sure that he got the first down. They'll go back to the ground. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays, but sometimes... You're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run it, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Otherwise, you're just going to abandon it, and now it's just going to be a passing game. Looking to throw, it's Hogan. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. What a hit by the defender. That's a good throw, and that was going to be caught, but how about the defender dislodging the football from its intended target? Nice job. After the second down misfire, looking at a third and eight. They want to throw it. They're setting up the screen, and that did not work. Defense smelled that one out from the beginning. You gotta love that. On defense, one of the most critical statistics out there is how do you play on third down? How do you prevent the opponent from keeping drives alive? Right there, tackling the catch, you gave up the completion, what do you do? You've set up fourth and long, you're gonna get the ball back, go get some water and celebrate. Fourth down and the punt team sends it the other way. How about this? It's out of bounds inside the 10 and they're gonna mark it right around the five yard line. What a great job there. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. And he's brought down after a nice game. Really good looking run there. This guy reminds me a little bit of an old Texas A&M Aggie great, Leland McElroy. He was so dangerous in space, was so difficult to bring down to the ground. All 11 guys on defense had to rally to the football. This guy has a little bit of that too. If they can find more creative ways to get this guy out in the open field, watch out, because he's a home run waiting to have. Works his way ahead for three. They'll spot it at the 18. Now that's what you're trying to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground, short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. Out of the gun. The running back has it. He'll be stopped just short of the 20 at the 19. Give him one. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? Back to pass, it's Wegman. He tries to take the top off. A full dive to hold that one in. Man, that's a tough play to make. When you're that far down the field and you're, you're trying to control your body and run as you're laying out, that's a really great effort, really good concentration, and that is how you make your quarterback look really good. Texas A&M going quickly. Here's the handoff. Still running up the 40. Got a lot of running room. 
And finally, out of bounds after an explosive run by this ball carrier. Every time he touches the ball, you can feel the excitement from this home crowd because Palmer, he can go the distance with that game-breaking speed. You're right, David. He's a special talent. I'll tell you, these fans, they come here to see this guy play because he has game-breaking speed. Stuff you can't coach, you saw it on that play. And that big gainer on the last one has him ready to go from inside the 10. Fast motion from the offense. This quarterback part of their running game. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Aggie. And that's what makes this quarterback so dangerous, fellas. He can hurt you throwing the ball. Man, is he ever dangerous and explosive with his feet. You have got to be able to get this guy on the ground. If you don't, he has got way too much wiggle and speed. You saw it right there. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And it was capped off with the eight-yard run. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it out. It's Johnson. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. The New Mexico State offense returns to the field. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, They've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. To the air, it's Hogan. He's got the back in the middle. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down mark. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You've got to be versatile. i got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and i got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. Catch in the middle, it's Weber. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. Touch pass on the jet sweep. They'll get him down, but not before he crosses the 50. He's down to the 49. I love that play call, and I love the timing of the pre-snap motion. Because the quarterback was able to get it to the receiver right behind the offensive line, because of the timing, he was able to outflank the defense. That puts him out in space where he's able to use his speed. Nice job with the pre-snap motion and timing. He'll come out throwing on first down. With the catch, it's Smith. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. Well, you're seeing the balance this offense has and how they can create explosive plays in a variety of ways. We just saw one come in the run game, and now you see one coming in the passing game. I'll tell you, they've got this defense on their heels. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. Used the play fake. Now to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Johnson. And he makes a completion there, set up and in business at the 20. Great job by the offense, being patient, understanding when they're in zone coverage, I got to hit those tight windows, make those precise passes to get those big plays. New Mexico State to the line after picking up the first down. From the red zone, looking for a man. He wants it all. 
And it's incomplete. He was looking to the end zone and trying to get six. It would have been a high-level play, but it's a play this quarterback expects to be able to make when he has a guy open. Man, these quarterbacks start practicing and doing seven-on-seven seven and having quarterback coaches when they're like seven years old, eight, nine years old now. So even when they don't have wide open wide receivers you still expect them to fit that ball in there and make it happen running it in the red zone imposing their will and picking up five down to the 15. i like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside he can really do it all eight play of the drive and to keep this one going they'll need to convert a third and five back to throw it's hogan fires to the wide out Touchdown, New Mexico State. And they'll put that scoreboard operator to work and put six on the board. And the offense finds a way to cut into this lead, but they still have plenty of work to do. Yeah, they do, but that's a big score. You don't want to get late and start getting in the second half where you're fighting to come back by so many points. So great job getting points. Get that momentum back on your side so you can come out and do some good things when you get the ball next time. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And after the extra point, they're now down 24 to seven. They put together an 81 yard drive and they finish it up with a 15 yard scoring toss. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic than they get him on the ground at the 20. Texas A&M has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. If you like old-fashioned, grind it up, run over him football, that last touchdown drive was for you, Jesse. That was impressive, man. Great blocking up front and tough physical running by these ball carriers. And now you wonder how the defense responds. Like, are they going to get way more aggressive to try to stop the run? I got to do something to break the rhythm of that running game. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. All right, well, the offense here, they're trying to get this run game established. They obviously don't break off a long run there, but they're just trying to find their footing at this point. As we reach the two-minute warning, they'll need to try to get a stop to keep this thing from getting out of hand. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Now the play fake. Caught over the middle. It's green. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. Just beautiful. And that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make that throw. It keeps your offense on the field. Keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this. Way better than having to trot off over to the bench and wait for your turn to get another shot. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And they couldn't make the connection on the long shot. You hear about shot plays all the time. Offensive coordinators love to take deep shots down the field. They plan them. They plan when they're going to do them. And I bet you will plan to see a few more throughout this game. After the misfire, now on second down. Looking downfield, it's Wegman. Tight end finds a soft spot. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. We know who's got to love this offense picking up so many first downs. It's their own defense. David, I know you love playing on teams with great offenses. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. They want to just keep throwing it. Caught, close to the marker, it's Moss. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets them 30-plus. I know it's early in the game, but defensively after that play, you know you have to tackle the catch. When this guy gets the ball in his hands, he is so dangerous after the fact. So it's okay for him to make catches. You just got to get him to the ground quickly.
This offense has put on a display in the first half, and they have a chance to tack another one on before the break. They'll try to get it in with the run. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The offense will have to use its first time out of the half. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? He's looking to throw. Into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Aggies. And it's so underrated. The, the relationship between a QB and a wide receiver, the timing, the ability to know where he's going to be and be accurate with the football, that's what beats the nice touchdowns, Jesse. Well, and the chemistry between these two guys has to be great when you're throwing into the end zone because coverage is going to be tight. The throw might not be perfect, but this is something these two guys have been repping in practice over and over and over, and it's paying dividends now on game. Lining up to add another. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So it's an 80-yard drive, and they get it into the end zone with a six-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Aggies offense will have another go at it. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense, a big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it in halftime too, Palmer. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quickly you can go to. The incompletion brings up a second down. Snagged in the middle, it's Johnson. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football, sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. New Mexico State lines up quickly. Back to pass, it's Hogan. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. First half in the books, time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, who's had a better seat there in College Station for a fun first half than you? Talk about a first half from that dude out of the backfield. He's been a total game changer. And how many top plays moments have we seen on missed tackles alone? Video game moves from one of the shiftiest players in all of college football. With that said, let's send it back to the guys at the home of the 12th man. Texas A&M has it teed up to start this second half. Fielded in the end zone, it's Johnson. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out in the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. The New Mexico State offense returns to the field. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. They get him down after he makes the catch. Yeah, and what a nice job seeing it, reacting, and throwing it. When you run these RPOs, you want to read the defense really quickly. Is he playing run? Okay, boom. I'm going to throw the slant right behind him. Nice job by the QB. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. They'll run it from the gun. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. It's a nice game, but the big theme here is they just haven't been able to get the run game going on offense. They've been very one-dimensional. They're just not being physical enough to point of attack. And this offense can ill afford to come up empty on this drive, already trailing by multiple possessions. Muscling ahead on third and short. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. 
You know, the runner just has to have a little bit more patience. He bounced that thing outside a little too early and as a result lost yards. New Mexico State will be forced to punt. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on it. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. They'll run the RPO and throw it right. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Great play by the quarterback. He was just way too physical at the point of attack. He beat his man trying to block him, and he tackled that receiver on the screen. This offense has a second down play. Dropping back, it's Wegman. Oh, he's going to take a shot at the DB. Snags it down the right side. Touchdown, Texas A&M. And the pummeling has started. Well, this offense looked unstoppable in the first half, lighting up the scoreboard, and it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive of the third quarter, march it down the field to score. There is no end in sight for these guys. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team takes the field to boot this one away. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. And the coverage team able to wrestle him down. The Aggies offense will have another go at it. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one. So no room to run there and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. To the ground with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way. And when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what can happen. Someone not clear on the snap count. It'll be a full start. They'll move it back. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. The critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there. When it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. you got to be able to make that play. New Mexico State will be forced to punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Playing the field position game as he makes the fair catch right at the 50. Now they'll try to cash in this drive first and 10 from the 50. On the run, it's Moss. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Kept it on the ground on first down, now back to the line. To the air, it's Wegman. He's got it down the middle. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. Sometimes you have to put it in a tight window, and sometimes the window is gargantuan, and it was there. Yeah, that was one of them big old huge windows. And, and I tell you what, when you throw over the middle of the field, a lot of times quarterbacks are a little bit hesitant. When you're that open, it's easy to pull the trigger, easy to make the decision, make the read, get the ball to your receiver. 
And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. Might as well stick with him. Not much room to run. Let's give him one to the 33. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this deep tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Going to throw it over the top of the D. Reels it in on the left side. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. This quarterback has been really good today. He's been on top of it, seeing things really, really well. That pass right there put him over the 300-yard mark. That's a pretty good day. It's first and goal as Texas A&M comes to the line. On the move. And the beatdown has ensued. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. Take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job. You got points. Now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape. So the offense definitely taking care of their business. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. So that scoring drive took only six plays and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Just about set to kick it away. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. The New Mexico State offense returns to the field. Feeling some heat. It's complete to the right. They make the stop right there. Good pickup, it's still short of the first down. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. From the gun, running back gets to give. They'll mark him down at the 37. It's a 10-yard gain. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge gain? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Off the play fake on first down to throw. He's got an open man. And they were looking for a chunk play, and they got it. The explosive picks up more than 30. Yeah, and you see some quarterbacks who hesitate to throw the ball in the middle. I love it when you attack the whole field. And the middle of the field and being able to throw over linebackers and between safeties is a big skill. But show that defense. You're, you, you will attack everywhere. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Smith. They get him down after he makes the catch. This slot receiver is a guy that defense has to be careful of. He runs good routes. He's got some speed. And if you're not careful, this guy can gash him. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. Dropping back, it's Hogan. Out of the backfield, he's open. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. You know, that play right there shows me that the quarterback has a plan. He had no hesitation. The defense was bearing down on him. He got hit on that play, but he knew where his running back was. He got it out to him quick. And as a result, they avoided the negative play and sack. On third and short, they'll go to the power running game. And there were some collisions in there. The D finally stops him short of the marker. 
the run game just has not been working for this offense all game long. You saw it on that last play as well. Just not getting enough push up front on the offensive line. They haven't been physical. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. It is perfect. And they'll put three on the board, but the deficit remains huge. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. On the move from inside is five. Able to find enough room to get it out across the 25. He's brought down at the 26. Texas A&M has it back in the offense ready to go to work. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute it. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. you got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. They'll line up for a second down play. He's got it on the right. They ripped off seven on that one. Now a third down and three. I like the decision by the quarterback here. Just get the ball out of your hands. Get it to your playmaker. A lot of times they'll dance and make even bigger plays than he did here, but it's still a positive game. They're facing a third down. This is a designed run. Across the 45. Off he goes. Huge plays like that can change the complexion of a game, and he's got it at the 22-yard line. Well, there's a big run on offense, and guys, I don't think a defender even touched him anywhere near the line of scrimmage. That's how big that hole was. Texas A&M back to work with another first down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Looking to go up top on first down. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And finally, the defense is able to get some pressure on this quarterback. They had been trying all game long different ways to affect him. Weren't able to get there. But on that play, because of the pressure, it affected his accuracy. And that's why the ball falls incomplete. Now on second down after the incompletion. Looking downfield, it's Wegman. Looking to the big tight end. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. The big tight end tries to make a catch, and you can tell it extends for the ball, but great job by the defender getting in there, making the hit, dislodging the football out at the same time as he's going to catch it, and the big tight end couldn't hold on to it. This drive was clicking along, but after a couple of misfires, threatening to stall out on third and ten. Complete downfield. And he makes a grab. Defense draped all over him, and it's first and goal at the nine. And that's a really good example of the quarterback and his intended target both being on the same page. The timing was almost perfect on that play. That's why they were able to convert the third down, now setting up first and goal. grab behind the line. It's Muhammad. Touchdown, Aggie! And the stomping has commenced. He has been surgical. Precision passes. Using the scaffold, the fine instrument, rather than the blunt one. And the defense has had absolutely no answer for it. Just, uh, he's been down their throats all game long. A step ahead, understanding what he's seeing, and just destroying this defense. They'll try to add another to their lead. 
And with that extra point, the lead remains in the gargantuan category. They put together a 74-yard touchdown drive, and they cap things off with a 9-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Aggies offense will have another go at it. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step two here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. They're going back to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And defense nowadays, they don't look at stats of what is the yards per rush. They look at how many negative plays they can create. Because why? Now you look at second down. Man, it just became very predictable for this offense. Nice job creating the loss on first down. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The give to the tailback. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And you can tell that play went nowhere from the start. It was definitely a great play by that defender. Oh, yeah, he got the backfield so quick. The running back had absolutely no chance. Ball's at the 29. Defense can taste getting off the field. It's third and long. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Grabbed in the middle, it's Watkins. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. And I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Texas A&M has the lead at the end of the quarter. Well, guys, so far, this has been a massive beatdown, and it would appear the biggest challenge is what kind of records can they set as we have a look at the third quarter stats. So will the beatdown continue, or is this a comeback for the ages in store? We'll see as we start the fourth. Give to the back. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He's got a yard out to the 30-yard line. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. Back to throw, it's Wegman. Firing to the right, complete. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. Got a critical third down here in the fourth quarter. Surprise, surprise, guess who they go to? That guy. A&M comes back out with another first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, this guy's been eating them alive all game long. Finally, though, David, you wonder if the defense has been able to make some adjustments, find something positive to help slow this guy down. Hey, baby steps, right? That's a tackle for a loss. I know he's got over a hundo on the game, but this defense is definitely going to have to be more aggressive, commit more guys to stopping that bad man. He'll try it again. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. Hey, five to six yards a pop. I don't know if you guys are really good at math, but that usually equals a first down every couple carries. So don't forget about the run game. Keep them honest. Pound that rock. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. 
power football with the run. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. Texas A&M will have to boot it away. Second time today they've been forced to punt. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. The New Mexico State offense returns to the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Caught in the backfield, it's Weber. And that is good versatility there and a big hit from the backer in pass coverage. Nice route there by the tight end, making it real easy for his quarterback to find an easy completion. That completion leaves us with second and medium. Dropping back, it's Hogan. And he drops it, just took his eye off of it at the last minute. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Looking to throw it again. Catch in the middle, it's Johnson. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. Complete to the left. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. Oh, man, did he turn that one loose and fired it into the teeth of the zone. And you know as a quarterback race, when you're throwing it to the perimeter of the field on these curl routes, you've got to have some heat. You've got to have arm talent to get that ball out quickly into the hands of your receiver before all those defenders can get to it. Man, this QB's got to get it. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. You see an incompletion there. I think a big reason why this team is in such a hole right now in the fourth quarter is they have just not been able to find the explosive plays throwing the ball. And you got to wonder at this point, is it too little too late? After the incompletion, they go back up top. Got it in the middle. at Stevens. Gets him on the ground at the 28, but not before a big 10-yard pickup. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Gonna run it. It's Watkins. Knocked down after a gain of one to the 27. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll go right back to it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And there was no space, nowhere to go. That play went absolutely nowhere. Sometimes you just need a dude to show up and make a play, and he did. Sometimes you just need to block that dude, and they didn't. Ninth play of the drive coming up, but this one will be tough. Third and long. To the air, it's Hogan. Fires toward the end zone. He makes a grab. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. And they just keep firing, taking out big chunks here, trying to keep the game alive. No trickeration there at all, Reese. I mean, that's a play for vertical everybody's got in their playbook, and you're just counting on someone somewhere downfield to make a play. 
They'll try to run it in. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide on these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. After getting knocked back, it's second and goal from the four. He's looking to throw. And he will score! Touchdown, New Mexico State! Yeah, hey, good for them. They, they put together a drive. They, they got a touchdown. It, it's been a bad day. I mean, this is a day they're going to want to forget. They're getting destroyed. But at least you get some positive vibes. Maybe, maybe finish this game on a little bit of a high note. A little bit. The AT unit on the field. Bangs it through for an extra point. They put it in the end zone with a 12-play scoring drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. Kickoff team is on the field. They'll try to drive this one deep. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Texas A&M has it back, and we say howdy to the Aggie offense again. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. And there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. And the defense snatches it, and they've reversed the field. I'll tell you, honestly, I don't know what that player could have done to hold on to that football. That defender absolutely popped him. He knocked him into next week. There was no chance he was holding on to that ball. First down here for the offense. Wide receiver shows motion. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Gets it out fast. And he just couldn't get started. Goes down behind the line of scrimmage, and they'll lose yardage on the completion. Awesome body control, and great job, too, knowing where he is on the field to make sure he got his feet down in bounds. At this point, this guy's been open all over the field, and if I'm the QB, man, I keep throwing him the ball. Looking for a man. It's Hogan. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. And they're able to get him on the ground. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Ball's at the 25. They're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. They'll try to run for it. Runs through the tackle. And he uses the stiff arm to push his way past the sticks and pick up the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. And the Aggies will have it first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. He's got him in the flat. And it's on the ground. And the defense grabs it, and they're taking it the other way. The more hats you have near the football, the more likely you are to cause a fumble. So many guys with their hands wrapped around guys, the ball's bound to pop out occasionally. You gotta be in the right place at the right time. Texas A&M has it back on the offense, ready to go to work. Ball security always paramount. That football must be riveted to your rib cage, Jesse, and it wasn't last time. And look, he knows if that happens again, he's going to find himself on the sideline. So this is going to be a dude very motivated to make some plays on this drive. Yeah, and I think it's it's frustrating, but you got to put it behind you. you got to move on. And this offense has to go through him anyways. you got to be able to run the football and have some balance. 
Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The give as they work on that clock. Defense there to stop him after a gain of one to the 22. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On the run, it's Moss. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. And there's nothing more frustrating than when you get late in the game and you know they're running the football and you don't stop them. It's been that kind of day for this defense. They haven't played well. They're going to have to go to the well. They're going to have to figure some things out. Practice this week, I can promise you, will not be a lot of fun with these coaches. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. The Aggies offense will have another go at it. This thing got out of hand on them, but they'll try to finish with some pride here. And this one was a beatdown. And there's nothing you can do about it because this one's over. Jesse, now we got to start progressing for next week, for the rest of this season, so we don't let one bad game turn into two. Yeah, there are very few teams out there that won't watch game film, but they may want to skip this one. I mean, because it may <laughs> hurt their confidence. They just need to turn the page and get ready for the next opponent and forget this day ever happened. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to avoid the loss. And this defense has put a game together. Like, it is hard to put all the facets of defense together. Run defense, pass defense. They've been so good, man. Dialed in. You could tell they were ready. They were fast. They were physical. They dominated this football game. Come to the line at the 42, facing a third and short. Wants to throw. It's Hogan. Quick completion on the out route. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. It'll be a first down from the 49-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. Got it in the middle, it's Johnson. Ripping through the defense and getting it all the way down to the 24-yard line. This quarterback obviously did a lot of film prep coming into this one. He has been picking this defense apart. With that last completion, guys, he's now got over 300 yards passing. This offense absolutely humming as they come to the line again. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? And I know this football game is over, but we got to keep fighting. We got to keep finding something, some kind of rhythm in this offense, something we can hang our hat on that we do really, really well. Listen, the intermediate passing game like this has taken over college football, short to intermediate. So if they can find some of this, it'll help their offense moving forward. 